Look for the, not a good shot, but a better shot. There's Armis running the floor. Maybe a travel, not called. Rebounded by Sanford. We're two plus minutes in. Guerrero will flush one home. And Sanford gets on the board first. It took uh, over two minutes. Yeah, great push and transition there. Getting the ball down the floor quickly, beating. Look for the, not a good shot, but a better shot. There's Armis running the floor. Maybe a travel, not called. Rebounded by Sanford. We're two plus minutes in. Guerrero will flush one home. And Sanford gets on the board first. It took uh, over two minutes. Yeah, great push and transition there. Getting the ball down the floor quickly, beating. Sharkey on Williamson. Williamson. This is Patrick Good. Rodriguez can't hit. Armis with another board and it swatted away. Kept it inbounds, did Guerrero. Spin by Sharkey and Sharkey tried to hand. Over three minutes in and the Buccaneers do not have a point on the scoreboard. Baseline goes in for Allen, who was the hero, as Holly had mentioned, against Furman. Yeah, what a big feast on, guys. Tied at four, 14.45 remaining, opening half. Conference rivals going at it. Sharkey, Guerrero, and Guerrero uses the bank. And Ruben Guerrero with four points. Holly have took a quick look at the flash. Seven remaining in the opening half. Still a man-to-man -man for the Bucks, Holly, am I right? Oh, yeah, definitely playing a tight man-to-man. -man. Have gotten some good uh, action on the wing with the steals, uh, but they're not very good communication there as they just allow Gordon all the way to the basket. Strong move by Myron Gordon. First half, and Sanford up by three, 8-5 over ETSU. Sharkey finding a wide open. Ruben Guerrero, so Guerrero with six. Josh Sharkey doing a great job getting in the lane, draw. First half and Sanford up by three, eight five over ETSU. Sharkey finding a wide open. Ruben Guerrero, so Guerrero with six. Josh Sharkey doing a great job getting in the lane, draw. I'll remember that. Put a little cleaner on the ball and let it go around the rim. I yep, got it. Yep. In Australia, it goes the other way. Oh, okay. Sharkey and gets it. First two points for Sharkey. Yeah, Sanford looking very good offensively and defensively. The sophomore Johnson City, Tennessee, the hometown boy, playing great defense and getting ATSU another two points. Started his career at App State. Three ball, Lockage. Straight on three. Turnovers and hitting down, knocking down the big three there that time. Approaching seven minutes remaining in the opening half. ETSU out in front by one. And now Sanford up by one. 6.50 remaining. But right now, the transfer from App State is back in the top 10 in the Southern Conference in three-point field goal percentage. He said, quote, my confidence hasn't changed, and credit to my teammates, even when I was in a slump, every shot I shot, they thought, and I thought it was going to go in. A quick five points for him right before the last minute. 35 points in one game. The previous four minutes of your teammates definitely helped you to, to come out of that on the other side. ETSU now one for eight long range. Another stat we were talking about, Sharkey able to roll one home. We were kind enough to include, here's Sharkey with the steal, the fake, and could not convert, but he has it back for another opportunity. Hills out front, able to get that, those easy transition baskets. That's been their best offensive production. Two-point lead for the Bucks and Austin will tie the game up. Uh, you know, 
they've won a lot of games, and so they start getting that momentum going, start feeling it here in the second half. It's going to be difficult for Sanford, and they're another turnover. Hodges makes a move, rejected again by Guerrero. And now Sanford and Sharkey try to finish, and he draws a foul. Three. Six-point lead for the Bucks. their second shot. Now three chances at the rim. Yep, here's good for the dagger three. Coming out, one more shot. What's that, five? Five shots at the rim for ETSU. You wonder why they lead the nation. So an eight-point lead now for the Bucks, and, and again, back to their road record, seven and four. I think the toughest thing to do for young clubs are win on the road. Guerrero says, win this. Beautiful setup by Sharkey, though. I mean, he saw that coming the whole way, got into the lane, beautiful bounce pass. So an eight-point lead now for the Bucks, and, and again, back to their road record, seven and four. I think the toughest thing to do for young clubs are win on the road. Guerrero says, win this. Beautiful setup by Sharkey, though. I mean, he saw that coming the whole way, got into the lane, beautiful bounce. Speaking with ETSU people prior to the game, we mentioned the transfers, some youthful guys. They have had trouble finishing and closing games out. Kevion Nolan with its first two. But the Bucks have had many, many leads. Now they're 17 and five, they're both games, but they have had some big leads. In fact, Holly, remember they led Sanford by 17 in Johnson City, and that game eventually went to overtime. Right. And again, you mentioned the youth, and that is something that experience, you know, closing out the final minutes of, of games, you know, especially when you have a bigger lead. Sometimes that makes it even harder. You want to put it on coach. Approaching 12 and a half remaining in the second half. Myron Gordon stays on the floor, rolls it to Guerrero, then Guerrero gets possession and then follows up his own miss. So Guerrero with 13. Bucks lead by 13. Bucks lead by six. I'm gonna keep two things in mind, Holly. One. ETSU, again, typically, not a rejection for Guerrero, they have trouble closing out games despite the incredible record. They've had other games. Ball faked by Myron Gordon and unable to finish. Allen and then Guerrero. That's what offensive rebounds will do, Kurt. I mean, two second chance opportunities there on two great shots. I mean, both of those shots were good shots, but more opportunities to get the ball in the basket. That's what Sanford needs to do more of here in the second half. Six point lead for the Bucks. They have possession. Trey Boyd. That's a clean block for Gordon. Lockett trying to beat his man. Remember, this is coming with Sharkey. Trey Boyd. That's a clean block for Gordon. Lockett trying to beat his man. Remember, this is coming with Sharkey on the bench. And Myron Gordon says, I've got a three ball in my pocket. I heard a whistle, and that will bring. And if you're GTSU, you don't need to worry about rebounds if you knock down the shot on the first attempt there. Just want to keep Sanford off the offensive glass. Nolan wants three and gets it. You like the side three, that baseline three, Holly? I do not like it. In fact, ETSU has mentioned they've lost just once to Sanford. 12 and one. Hodges. Rodriguez inside. Goes around Allen Guerrero with another rejection. Three to shoot. This has got three to shoot. This has got to go up. Hodges. And into the hands of Sharkey. Sharkey, the trailer. Allen uses the bank. Yeah, Sharkey got up in the air that time and realized he needed to do something different. Wasn't going to get that shot off. Luckily had. 
Yeah, the way this half started, ETSU coming out of the gate so strong, they could have easily started running away with it. Sanford, though, just holding their ground, chipping away at the, at the lead slowly but surely, staying around. Another block for Guerrero. What a game he's having defensively. There he is, good picture of, they call him El Gigante. Lightly, but I, I don't think there's a lot you can do. And again, Sharkey and Squeaky Johnson. Lightning, Guerrero. 17 for Guerrero, game tied with under five remaining. 2.15 remaining, Bucks over the Bulldogs. Austin with position. Bucks by seven, they lead under two minutes remaining and eight point lead with 27 to go. Myron Gordon for the triple. Got it. That looked pretty coming out of his hands. And again, they will head to Chattanooga. Tough place to win. Now Good's going to end this game with 27 points as it stands right now and just really has pulled his team through. Yes. And again, when you're looking at the other guys on the team, we thought we'd see something big.